I am Anil Kumar and from the request of my IB students here is a video for you on finding median of group data. Let me first thank all of these students for taking keen interest in my videos. The question here is how to calculate approximate median from the group data. Now in every school, methods adopted are slightly different. I am going to follow a method which doesn't really require a formula. However, I'll give you a formula at the end also. But we'll concentrate more on logic in understanding the solution of this question. Now the question here is, how to calculate approximate median from the group data. So in this case, I have taken up marks and frequency. So let us say in a class of, in this case, we'll find how many students. We group mass in the intervals of 10 from 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 60, 61 to 70, and 71 to 80 and the frequency that means number of students getting marks within that interval is 4, 11, 18, 30, 27 and 10. To find the number of students we can add this frequency and then find how many total number of students are involved. So let's call this as variable f frequency so sum is we have 4 plus 11 plus 18, plus 30, plus 27, plus 10, 100. So total number of students is 100. I have purposely taken values which are easier to work with. In your question, that may not total 200, right? It could be any number anyway. So total number of students are 100. And when we talk about median, we are looking for the person who is right at the center. Now, what is that center point? Now, the center point is uh, between 50th and 51st student. Is it okay? Since we have even number here, so, so that is position will be 50.5 we can say is the number which gives us the median right at the center 9.5 49.5 so that becomes the median now since we have a group data we don't know where will this person be if I add a cumulative frequency column it may help so let's add another column to it cumulative frequency is that okay that is we'll add this up so what we have here is 21 to 30 we have 4 adding 11 to 4 gives us 14 14 plus 18 gives us let's oh, sorry this is 15 11 plus 4 is 15 15 plus 18 is 33 33 plus 30 will be 63 63 plus 27 will be 90. 90 plus 10 is the sum 100. Now, 50th to 50th person, so those two numbers, will actually lie where? So, up to 33 will lie in this group, but that 50th will lie in the group 51 to 60. So, that is the class interval you see that so the median actually is within is in this interval 15 to 60 right it could be 51 to 60 so it could be at 51 52 53 anywhere it's very difficult to find which exactly is the median so what we do is we approximate here so approximation is done on the assumption that the data is uniformly distributed. So we have an assumption here. 
uniform distribution correct now we're looking for 50.5 we know 33 already are up to 50 right so how many within this so within this group of 51 to 60 we want the position of the person to be at which point so the position should be 33 are already there so 50.5 take away 33 right so that is the position we are looking for which is 50.5 take away 33 is 17.5 right since there are 30 numbers here and the class interval is of 10 60 minus 51 plus 1 we can see the position here is what person it could be it is 17.5 divided by 30 right based on our uniform distribution and since the class interval is of 10 we can multiply this by 10 to get how far is the median from 50 do you see that how far is it from 50 I know it is between 51 and 60 but how far is it from 50 so let's do this calculation so we have 17.5 divided by 30 times 10 is equals to 5.833 so it is so many units away from 50 right so it could be any anyway, right almost at the center of this slightly on the right side that's what it, the mean median is right so if I add 5.833 to 50 I get 55.833 so that becomes the median in our case right so we could approximate this to 55.8 so the answer is 55.8 right so in our case the median is 55.8 now there's a formula which can help you solve this question without getting into this logic right logic makes sense for me but formula can actually help us always get accurate answer so the formula for median is we look at this lower limit uh, which is the upper bound of the previous class interval we call this as l plus it is more than 50 right how much more is what we have to figure out so so the middle value for the whole data is sigma f divided by 2 so we say sigma f divided by 2 take away the frequency of the last intervals uh, I mean the cumulative frequency so we'll represent cumulative frequency by a capital letter of the last interval which is 33 right divided by the T of the the column class interval of our median so we know median for sure is within 51 to 60 on an assumption we can find approximate value so the class frequency of our median right times the class interval we say let us see now let us use this formula and calculate our value now in some schools we take this as a lower bound and for intervals like this we take lower bound as 50.5 we consider this interval to be between 50.5 and 60.5 but for this particular video I'm taking it as 50 right so let's be clear because there are different approaches for solving the same question right so this average median could be calculated like this as I said earlier it's an approximate value so we may not exactly get the same answer perfect if I use 50 right some of you can use 50.5 if I use 50 the value calculated will be 50 plus let me use square bracket 100 that is the sum here divided by 2 minus FL 
which is the cumulative frequency before this 33 divided by the frequency of our class interval which is 30 times the interval which is 10 right so let's calculate this value 100 divided by 2 so you have to follow order of operation minus 33 equals to 17 divided by 30 equals to 0 0.566 times 10 equals to 5.66 plus 50 equals to so we get this as equals to 55.66 you can say 55.7 so some of you can get that as your answer right so this is one possible answer this is another possible answer if you use this L value as 50 right however if you use this value of L which is if L equals to 50.5 which is also the case in some schools in that case this will be 0.5 higher right in that case the answer will be 55 point all other values are same right uh, adding 0 0.5 rather than recalculating all this so that may give you uh, 56.2 as your answer right that may give you 56.2 so that's a different school however we prefer to go with this if you are IB student in North America uh, we could also follow this for IB students in North America and in other places uh, you could take value of L as 50.5 and recalculate your answer this formula can be interpreted in different ways. I'm Anil Kumar. I, ain't, I hope this strategy is absolutely clear. So the idea here is median always is the center value of the cumulative frequency, right? total number of students. Total number of students in our case was 100. Since it is an even number, we'll get 50.5 as the median. Now 50.5 lies within the interval 51 to 60. We don't know where exactly. We are sure it is between 51 to 60, right? So all these answers are within 51 to 60. If we assume a uniform distribution, there are 30 elements in this. And we, are, we know 33 are already taken care of. So taking away... 33 we are left with 17.5 these 17.5 are equally distributed between this interval since there are 30 elements we divide 17.5 by 30 multiply by the class interval to get exact number adding this number to the lowest uh, upper bound of the previous interval we get our answer which is 55.8 Amanil Kumar and I hope this strategy helps you to find median of a group data. Since it is approximate, uh, these methods and even the formula which I discussed all kind of give you approximate value. So it is somewhere between 55 and 56 you can say, right? So that is fairly accurate. Amanil Kumar and I hope you understand and appreciate the approach. You can put some likes and few doubts ask questions. Thank you and all the best.